If you got a COVID-19 vaccine developed by Pfizer or Moderna, you can thank in part two researchers from Oak Ridge who made a groundbreaking discovery decades ago. Anchor Robin Wilhoyt recently sat down with the daughter of one of those scientists. She hopes her father finally gets the recognition he deserves 65 years ago. To the world, Elliot Vulcan was a distinguished scientist at Oak Ridge National Laboratory. To Karen Bruner, he was simply dad. If that was his job, um, and I think a lot of us growing up in Oak Ridge, being a scientist was, a, was just your dad's job. But his wasn't your average everyday job. In 1956, Vulcan made a discovery at ORNL that was described by fellow scientists as one of the most important events in the history of molecular biology. Elliot Vulcan and his research partner, Lazarus Astrakhan, first observed and described what later came to be known as messenger RNA, or mRNA. Now, decades later, more history in the making. That messenger RNA, mRNA, has proven to be the building block of life-saving and potentially pandemic-ending vaccines for COVID-19. Elliot Vulcan grew up in a small town near Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, the youngest of seven children born to Lithuanian immigrants. Science was his passion, Penn State his destination. The interesting thing was biochemistry was really not even much of a thing then as a, as a field. So he was in the College of Agriculture. Vulcan graduated in 1942, went on to graduate school at Duke, and there met the love of his life, Sylvia. They married and in 1948 moved to Oak Ridge where he launched into his work at ORNL. Not even a decade later, in 1956, Vulcan's discovery of mRNA made headlines in the world of molecular science. But at home in Oak Ridge, young Karen and her sister had no clue of their father's seminal research. No idea whatsoever. And so as it became known how groundbreaking this was. The person who made me aware of how important this was and what my dad was doing that was so important was my mother. Despite their significant finding, Vulcan and Astrakhan's identification of mRNA would in time be overshadowed. French researchers ultimately received credit in the 1965 Nobel Prize in Medicine and Physiology for discovering mRNA. When asked about it years later, Vulcan said, I have no hard feelings. That's the way things were. You know, I'll never know what was in his heart of hearts. I think he understood that that's how science works sometimes. Um, were it me, I probably would have felt a little cheated. Vulcan had a long and distinguished career at ORNL. He died in 2011 at the age of 92, never to see how his mRNA research contributed to COVID-19 vaccines developed by Pfizer and Moderna. Those pharmaceutical companies employed mRNA technology to create the vaccines that are more than 90% effective at preventing that virus. You know, he was just my dad, but to my friends and family, he was this giant. So as soon as news about the vaccines came out, my Facebook just blew up with classmates who were so excited about this. And it was a moment of pride for Bruner when she got her first dose of Moderna. And I said something to the, uh, to the health nurse, you know, I said, I'm, I'm just excited to, to be getting this. And she was, well, wow, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Alvin Weinberg, the longtime director of ORNL, once said, Vulcan and Astrakhan's mRNA discovery never received the acclaim it deserved. But Karen Bruner says, for her father, it was never about the praise. It was always about the science and its purpose. Understanding how science really impacts our lives for the better is something we all need to pay attention to. We can't all be scientists, but we all need to appreciate scientists and honor them for the work that they do. Scientists at ORNL and around the world are continuing to build on mRNA research. They are researching how the technology can prevent, treat, and even cure diseases like cancer, HIV, and cystic fibrosis.